Hello everybody, my name is Devin with HDPiano.com and in today's lesson I'll be showing you guys how to play Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People, one of our top requested lessons, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. Looks like this. Oh, one, two, three, four. Add some chords. Alright, so there's a taste of some of the ideas we'll be working through in this video. This song is based on a four measure loop, so once you know the bass line and the chords, you can technically get through the whole thing. Um, but to make it musical, you're going to want to have an arrangement, right? You're going to want to have some separate ideas for the chorus than what you have for the verse. Um, so we're going to have all that and more um, in our arrangement, um, part of which we'll be learning in this video, and the rest of which will be over at hdpiano.com, along with a melody version. So if you're trying to learn the melody in the right hand, um, we'll have that as well. Okay, before we dive in, and I give you the lay of the land here, just got a quick question. Um, foster the people. Well, you guys requested this lesson. Um, it was one of our biggest upvotes um, in our request database at request.hdpiano.com. Uh, request so I'm just curious, how many of you guys are familiar with that request database, have used it, have seen a lesson, or are still waiting on a lesson? Comment below. Um, I know you guys love to talk about requests. We wish we could do them all, but uh, hopefully one day. Okay, let's see. We're in the key of E flat major. The song is very diatonic. We're only going to be seeing notes from that scale. So, three flats. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. All right, so get familiar, um, just so you can have your bearings, um, what's in the key, what's not. And this bass line starts on the second degree of the scale, and it walks up. All right, that whole thing was just walking up the scale, right? from F to G to A flat to B flat to C. And then we're gonna skip D and go up to E flat. But let's just get those first two measures in rhythm, nice and slow. Three and four, uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three. All right, so we got up to E flat, right? One more time, play along. Three, four, one, Two and three and four, one, two and three and four, one. All right, two measures down, not so bad. All right, starting from E flat, we go back down to C. And then we get to B flat. And play the same rhythm and basically the same shape. B flat down to G. Now in the beginning, the bass line, uh, little thing there B flat G A flat F now there will be little embellishments throughout and it's really not crucial if you play them or not um, like I said this song is a loop so it's all just kind of about crafting your own thing and developing it so just just want to make sure you're aware that it doesn't have to be exact okay now that's the baseline uh, let's do it one more time all four measures two three four Okay, or the end can just be if you want to keep it simple. Now, if you really like that vocal sample that we hear on the recording, it's like ding, 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 ding. Um, you can add that on top of the bass line during the intro just to kind of fill some space. It is a long intro, it's 16 measures. And that would sound like this. All right, so it's kind of a cool idea, and if you like it, you can stick it in there. If not, skip it. Um, that's just G, and it's a measure of one E, uh, so nice and slow, one E and a two and three and four, and then just four quarter notes. So it's a two measure loop, repeated. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but some of you might want to know it, so there you go. Now, let's look at the chords. The bass line will continue, but the right hand will start filling it in. And we don't really hear any chords until about the ninth measure 
uh, where the, uh, like a synth pad kind of comes in. And so it's an F minor 9, A flat, C, E flat, G. This is middle C, by the way. All right, so we're going to hold that for a measure. Now that chord also works because it becomes A flat major 9. Um, but I like coming down here, giving a little motion to the harmony. And that's A flat, B flat, C, and E flat. So we come from F minor 9 to A flat, kind of like add 9, just a triad with the ninth. Uh, boom, 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 boom. For E flat, we've got this nice open triad, G, B flat, E flat, and G. Hold it. Now for B flat, this is a nice kind of B flat triad with the fourth, so it's a B flat add four. So we have F, B flat, D, E flat, and F. Now try playing those over the bass line. One more time. All right, you might remember I did something that brought a little more motion into the right hand, and that was holding the top note, but uh, re-articulating all the notes below it um, with quarter notes. So nothing really changes about where our hands are, it's just a little bit more coordination, and it looks like this, three, four. So any combination of those ideas will get you through that nice long intro. And of course, if you're playing this on your own, the intro doesn't have to be 16 measures. It can be nice and short. Um, but when we get to the verse, it's probably best to drop out. And so we're just going to drop to the bass line. That way you can focus on the lyrics. Right, there was just a slight shift in the bass line there. E flat went down to E flat and then walked up to F and then up to B flat. There's also a couple embellishments we can add. Right here. Little 16th note moment. Um, you hear that on the recording, and if you're capable, then great, throw it in there. It's E flat to F, E flat down to C. So uh, three E and a four and one, two and three E and a four and one. So that was B flat C, B flat G. All right, so yeah, I mean, you've got a pretty good idea of how this song works. Uh, the other thing we're gonna go through in the next video is the interlude, which is some, some new chords, well, not new chords, but new voicings. And then we're gonna learn a bit of the melody because there's that whistle part. Um, and then we'll learn the melody version after that. So anyways, at this point, honestly, you could make it through the whole song. So it's, uh, it's nice and simple, it's a fun, lovely piece although the subject matter is pretty dark um but yeah i think i'll go ahead and play it for you guys one more time nice and slow i'll start with just the bass line like i did at the beginning there's the vocal sample Now we can add some motion. Well, that was a little messy. Let me try that again. Okay. Now I just want to point out that the bass line, whenever it's just the focus is the bass line, kind of want to keep it nice and bouncy and staccato. But when we bring in the chords, then you kind of have to add some pedal, otherwise the chords sound a little weird. Right? Right, everything sounds a little too dry. So when you bring in those chords with the quarter notes, then it's best to use some pedal. But give that bass line a nice, strong attack. Because that's the real hook of the song that just keeps motoring through the whole time. 
Anyways, I hope this sets you up nicely to play this song, and I hope to see you over at hdpiano.com to learn the rest and check out that melody. My name is Devin with HD Piano, and uh, while I have you here, please like and subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That way you'll know about all of our upcoming lessons. We'll talk to you soon.